on this episode of Road Dirt. Two old friends hit the big 6-0 and take an epic road trip together. Stay tuned. So here we are. This is uh, Rob with Road Dirt, my friend Lyle Branton. We are both, you've seen Lyle in some of our other videos and stories. Longtime friend, we've known each other most of our lives. We are embarking on a road trip up into Tennessee, Kentucky, North and South Carolina, whatever we can hit a little bit of Virginia, because uh, the big 6-0. I just turned 60 uh, about a week ago. Lyle's got his coming up here in a couple of, I guess, a couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're getting ready to hit the road on, is this a, is Alice here a 2018 or 2019? 2018. 2018 um, BMW GS1200. I've got uh, on loan from Yamaha, thank you very much, folks, a um, Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus that we're gonna be road tripping. So we are heading north all the way to, um, um, where are we headed to, Middlesboro? Middlesbrough, Kentucky, yeah. So uh, a lot of, lot of pavement, uh, pavement pounding coming up today. So stay tuned, more to come. Road trip of the year. Stopped up in um, Dillard, Georgia, at the famous Dillard House restaurant. It's about to show all the food here in a minute. It's about to be a feast. That's for sure. What's beautiful is, uh, man, looking outside. Let me show you our view for lunch. Man, beautiful place. Now we're talking. This looks like a feast. First round. Yeah, round one. So I've been using Yamaha's proprietary adaptive cruise control here, and it's pacing Lyle, you know, like just perfectly. Pretty amazing. Make more use of this as we go. wide open stretches between the mountain ranges. Get up to speed here and just air it out for a while. So GPS took us over onto State Highway 209 up here in North Carolina. And we round a corner to take a right on it, and there's this sign that says the Rattler. You know, like 290-something curves in 24 miles. I've heard of this road for years, other people riding it, but now we're on it. This is awesome. I love GPS when you set it to avoid highway. About to run through a mountain, and on the other side, Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Wow, this is cool. Long and straight.
What a day. We made it, man. We are in Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Quite a ride. Quite a ride. We, uh, we put in our GPS as um, a scenic crew trying to stay off of interstates. And it took us on some amazing just county and state roads. Took longer to get here than we anticipated. But, man, we rode the Rattler, a 25-mile stretch that's better than the tail of the dragon. That was quite – it was like a – man, that was exhausting. We got out the other side of that. We're tired. And, uh, and then it took us through valleys. And, man, th this – this is just gorgeous here. Crossing over into Tennessee and then running the length of Tennessee up into up into Kentucky. Here we are. Day one done. Tomorrow we go ride some state roads. But now we gotta find some place to eat and unload our bags. <sighs> it's a long day. So it's day two of our road trip and Lyle and I are leaving Middlesboro and actually we found out, we didn't even know about this, we found out about a really cool Cumberland Gap National um, Historical Park. And this road runs up to the top of, uh, of a mountain that kind of is like a, a point between um, North Carolina, uh, Tennessee, and Virginia. Oh, Pinnacle Point. Pinnacle Point. Aptly named Pinnacle Point. So we're going to ride up to the top of it up there. And because uh, they say it's a pretty cool, pretty curvy road. And, uh, and then we're going to head further north today. The goal is to ride up through Berea, Kentucky, and then over to Stanton to the uh, Red River Gorge National Park and uh, Scenic Byway. So, ready to roll, big guy? Let's roll. Let's roll, man. Kentucky where we spent the night Cumberland Gap in uh, Tennessee and out there right over there is Virginia right here in the tri-states very cool beautiful view up here It's like first, second, and third degree hairpins all the way up and all the way back. And it's a beautiful overlook up there. What a pleasant surprise that was today. Very cool. So now, deeper into Kentucky. Wow, Eastern Kentucky here is just beautiful. These rolling hills, man, this is just beautiful. Love it up here. All right, so Lyle and I are in Berea, Kentucky, and we just ate at a Cracker Barrel here before we head north to Stanton. We absolutely destroyed our diets. What's that? What, what, give me that quote you, you, you came up with, man. I say, when you're on vacation, 
if you're not doing it wrong, then you're not doing it right. That's profound. <laughs> exactly. All right, onward, man. <laughs> We made it to Slade, Kentucky, right by the um, Red River Gorge National Scenic um, Monument, and um, and I think it's also what I think the, like the Natural Bridge National Park, something like that. Staying at the Big or the Black Bear Lodge and Inn, the Black Bear Lodge Motor Black Bear Lodge Motel, officially is what it called. Pretty cool. It's just ten rooms. We're up there. So, uh, <laughs> we made it, man. We're here. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Been a long day. Thanks guys. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Do not a solid rock. One lane. Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus. Such a fantastic motorcycle. Shifts so smooth, power delivery is just seamless. So comfortable to ride, diving it through corners and on long stretches out on the road. Fantastic motorcycle. So GPS took Lyle and I through a little town of Corbin, Kentucky. And lo and behold, we passed right by the original location of the very first Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're on the phone. We got to pull in, man. We got to stop. So we came around here and the original recipe started here. I guess he was born and raised here also, you know, uh, Harlan Sanders. So, um, man, the original KFC, it don't get any better than this. We're going to go get us something to eat. Birthplace of KFC. 
right here, man. This is crazy. I'll be back there. Check this out. Wow. Right here, the original KFC and original recipe and the first store that uh, the Colonel opened right here in Corbin, Kentucky. It truly is Kentucky Fried Chicken. that I've gotten for the month's work and told her Mr. Norris had fired me. She gave me a little lecture that I shall never forget. She said, what on earth are you ever going to mount to? You're my oldest son, the oldest of the three children. I mean, you've got no father. i got nobody to help me depend on but you. And to think that you're so no count that you couldn't hold a job at $2 a month. Well, the time she got through tongue-lashing me, I felt just about as low as anybody could have ever felt. And I made a resolve then that I would never let hires or work or anything else ever interfere with me doing the best job possible. And if I ever got another job, I was sure going to see, prove to her that I was worthy of it. He's a little taller than me. Definitely taller than Lyle, too. Since I've got about an inch on you. <laughs> The man, the legend. I guess some household items from his own family. Cool. Harlan's herb and spice room. a reconstruction of their original kitchen. Maybe some of their original pots and pans, too. Huh. This place is so cool. So much history. In the town of Corbin. The original restaurant. Sanders Gas Station. Sanders Court. They could have named this town Sanders instead of Corbin. Very cool. Yep, so true. The road we're on is paralleling and crossing back and forth the French Broad River. Man, this big old river just cutting through these gorgeous mountains these beautiful verdant valleys. What a ride this has been today. Like every day, man, can't get enough of this. So here we are in Athens, Tennessee. I don't know if their local high school mascot is the Bulldogs or not. It's an inside joke for you Georgia fans. So here we are, man. We uh, rode out of Kentucky today. Um, absolutely some of the most breathtakingly beautiful riding just all day long. Uh, got into a little bit of rain briefly. Got a rain gear on and promptly it stopped raining. That's in Murphy's Law somewhere. And, uh, and just been a gorgeous ride down here into, into Tennessee. So we made it, another day done. The bikes are just phenomenal. You know, the BMW 1200 GS and that, um, you know, uh, Yamaha uh, Tracer 9 GT Plus with that adaptive cruise control, just killing it out on the highways, man. Another day done. Tomorrow we roll back into Georgia. So Lyle's on the Tracer for a couple hours, and I'm riding his GS1200. He says it sits a little taller than the GS, of course it's a Sport Tourer. 
Lyle's bike sits pretty low, it's crazy. But uh, he's had a chance to sample that adaptive cruise control a couple of times behind truck or behind me. And man, he's knocked out with it like I am. It's pretty killer. So here's a little info on the tracer. It runs the same cross-plane 890cc triple that Yamaha puts in their MT-09 and that XSR 900 we got to ride about a year ago. Makes about, if I remember while I'm out here right, makes about 117 horsepower, I think about 68, 69 foot-pounds of torque at 7,000 RPM. I love this up and down shift, you know, just shifting without the uh, clutches, clutchless, you know, up and down shifting with a quick shifter and everything, just seamless with this uh, six-speed gearbox. Really digging this. So Lyle and I are eating at a place in Fall Ground, Georgia, called the Burger Bus. It's a burger joint in a bus. It's pretty profound. This place is just real cool. <laughs> Burgers and fries and tots. It's chow time. Let the old guy figure the electronics out here. Okay, I, I think we're rolling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally, after I've hit several other buttons and about turned the phone off. So well, here we are in Ball Ground, Georgia, a little country town here, nestled up in the hills. Just ate at a joint called uh, the Burger Bus. It was a burger joint in a bus. And it was quite good, actually. So, But man, we come to the end of our road trip. Lyle's going to head on toward South Atlanta. I'm going to head over toward... Uh, where I live just a little bit west of Athens and um, man this has been one heck of a road trip it this has. Is, it's been a great cool. trip we've um, we've ridden through just some beautiful places some amazing scenery met some sweet people up in North Carolina Tennessee up into Kentucky part of Virginia and um, ate at some really cool places the KFC uh, ori original KFC place and then this joint here among others this has just been an epic, epic road trip. Two, two separate groups of people that have already responded on Road Dirt uh, to some of your videos and things that we just met. And, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Made some new friends yeah. and some other some folks have joined the Road Dirt community while Lyle and I have just been out riding and meeting folks. It's been a great time, son. Man, I love you, brother. It's been a great trip. Just hey, awesome, brother. man. Lyle and I have been friends for, well, almost half a century. Dude, you're getting old. Yeah, not as old as you, but... Hey, he'll never catch me. <laughs> so... <laughs> but um, thanks for joining us on this trip. We hope you've enjoyed it. Is at least following along, riding a little vicariously through Lyle and I, these bikes, that killer BMW GS1200, and this cool Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus on loan from Yamaha. What a road trip it's been on a pair of fantastic motorcycles. We couldn't have asked for something better. So, well, this is Rob and Lyle with, with Road Dirt. Till next time, ride life. Ride safe, brother. Till next time. Ride safe.